Hello everyone! You may decide to hold sensitive material on USB drives. However, during the course of your business, you may have left that tiny piece of drive at the table of a restaurant while having a lunch or uh, fell out of your pocket in the bathroom or lost in an Uber car while commuting. And the lucky person who found that tiny piece of USB drive can plug it in into the computer and he will be able to see and open everything there, visible and accessible. And this is surely what you do not want to happen. Having said that, the question is, what can you do to prevent access to your USB drive in case it gets into the hands of others? You surely need to protect your USB drive. And here is one way to do that, by using SanDisk software. Here on the USB drive, I have three folders, Albany, New York, and Washington, DC. I can download the SanDisk Secure Access software from Western Digital, place it in the main folder of the USB drive, open the software and update it, Create a password that will protect the USB drive or whatever files and folders you wish to protect. And here you can see what files and folders are added by SanDisk onto the USB drive. Decide on what files and folders you wish to protect from the right side of the bottom screen. Here I wish to protect two folders from the D drive, New York and Washington DC and I am moving these folders over the top portion of the window to protect them. Let's see what we have done so far. We have moved the New York and Washington DC folders over to the protected area of the SanDisk software, and if we open Windows Explorer, we can still see all three folders on the USB drive, but I can delete these two folders because I have already placed them on the protection. Now, how can I find and open those two protected folders on the USB drive? Let's close the SanDisk software. And when you plug in the USB drive, this is what you can see. Those two folders and all protected files are not visible. You have to click on the SanDisk software to open it. Enter the password to show what folders and files are under protection. And here it is. The top portion will show all protected folders and files that are not visible on the USB drive by simply plugging in. If you wish to copy and paste files out of the protected area onto the USB drive or onto the computer and anywhere, you can simply click on those files, right click, copy and paste. Here I use Windows Explorer only for demonstration purposes to show what is clearly visible on the USB drive. But you can simply move those selected files to the bottom portion of the SanDisk window as well for this purpose.
Here I just copied and pasted the file. And you can see side by side. You may notice on the bottom portion of the SanDisk window that files copied from the protected area are visible on the USB drive. Now let's create folders on the USB drive into which I wish to place many files out of the protected area and to have those files available without any protection on the USB drive. Let's call those folders New York No Password and Washington DC No Password or No Pass. Again, you simply select those files and copy and paste. And here you can see on the USB drive what folders are visible without any password protection. These are the functions, features and commands of the SanDisk software. Let's exit the SanDisk software showing the protected area. If you wish to remove the SanDisk security software from the USB drive, please remember that by removing or uninstalling the software, you will delete all files placed in the protected area. Therefore, before doing so, first check what files are clearly visible on the USB drive without any protection and what files and folders you have in the protected area. So let's check first. The bottom portion shows the visible files and folders and the top portion shows the protected area and you can compare. If you delete the software from the USB drive, all files from the protected area will be deleted as well. Let's see how this is done. You have to log off from the SanDisk software. Select all three files belonging to the SanDisk software. Click delete and also select the two, the two SanDisk folders and delete. Here it is asking you to confirm the deletion because all your protected files will be removed. And the SanDisk software is now removed. Thus anybody who plugs the USB drive into their computer will be able to open and access the files saved on the drive. Again, if you wish to protect files or folders on the USB drive, please protect your drive from unintended use. The SanDisk software is only one option out of many for this purpose. A helpful information that when you download the SanDisk software, please do not download it into a subfolder. It has to be placed in the main folder of the USB drive and here is why. I have downloaded it into the Washington DC subfolder to install and watch what happens. 
you will receive an error message that it cannot run. It will not function at all. And this is how you can resolve the situation. Move the downloaded software into the main folder, delete the update file from the subfolder, and retry installing it in the main folder. Click on update the file in the main folder. And here it is now installed. Enter the password that you will use to protect files and folders on the USB drive and you are ready to go. Thank you for your interest in making sure that working documents and sensitive material are protected as much as possible. Anyone considering using USB drives to backup files and taking responsibility for their work seriously enough. Please protect your files in that tiny piece of drive holding all your documents on. Bye now.